All right, guys. This is a video for all you people that have jailbroken iPods or iPhones. Oh my God. And um, basically, I'm going to show you on a jailbroken um, iPhone or iPod. You can have a wallpaper set on the back like so uh, for the background. Um, but if you have a custom theme, your lock screen is going to be the picture of the theme instead of what you want it to be. Well, I'm going to show you how to change that. For an example, I have my girlfriend as my lock screen um, instead of the theme. Now, um, it's going to require you to download a few things, and I will go step by step on how to do this. It's fairly simple, and um, you just have to um, follow my lead on this. So, um, basically, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at our main little screen like this. And, let's see, come over here like so. Ooh. Okay. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Cydia. So, open up your Cydia on your jailbroken device. Now, wait for this to load the data and go to search. And you are going to search after this reloads the data. I'm going to pause this because this fucking takes forever. Oh, never mind. Okay. All right. That's even better. All right. What you're going to search is iFile. So, I, F, I, L E I file now as you can see I have a check mark next to it and you can in open that up and what you're gonna do is hit install and it's gonna give you a trial and uh, this trial is pretty much um, unlimited trial um, but this basically is gonna have you be able to view your files from your phone or on your device so once you install that you're going to exit Cydia like so and scroll over till you see the iFile icon, which is that little Mac face right in the middle there. So what you're going to do now is click on that. Now, say the theme that you want is um, the activated theme. You're going to, well, first let's click back until you get all the way till you can't go back anymore. Now what you're going to click on is the var folder, so it's going to be in var, and then you're going to scroll until you see do, 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 stash. Open up that stash, and you're going to scroll down until you see themes. Open up themes, and these are going to be all your themes. So say for an example, I'm using the Gears of War 2 theme, and we're going to open that up. Now you're going to look inside the folder, and you're going to see doc lock screen, the lock background.png, and the wallpaper.png. Go back until you're at var, and wait, yeah, keep going back until you're in var, and then you're going to go to mobile device, I believe, or no, mobile. Um, shit, I forgot where to go. Hold on one second. All right. Anyways, all right. So back in the var folder, right? So let's so let's backtrack here. You're gonna go to var, and then at the bottom here, you're gonna look for stash and open up stash, and then open up the themes, and then scroll down till you see the theme that you want to modify, which is Gears of War Two. We are going. No, nope, not that one. You fucking moron. Gears of War Two. Ta da. That's what we're gonna look at, and um, we're gonna go back to the var folder and go up to the mobile folder not mobile device but mobile click on mobile and then click on library and scroll all the way down and you are going to see a lock background jpg now what you want to do is leave ifile just like this right now exit ifile by hitting the menu button and scroll over to your photo album now open up your photo album and we're just going to pick, I'm just going to pick, do, 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 what should I pick, what should I pick, what should I pick? Um, I'll pick this. All right. This is a Alienware computer I took a picture of. Um, what you're going to do is hit the arrow down here and say, uses wallpaper. 
set as wallpaper, setting as wallpaper, check. Now, when you go back, you should see that that is set as your wallpaper. Now, go back over to the I file and open that up. Open up the I file and scroll all the way down to the bottom here again, and you will be in the library folder. Hit the lock background JPG and you should see this come up. What you're going to do is hit done. Now, up in the top right, hit edit. Check the lock background JPG or J, yeah, JPG and hit the export arrow here. You're going to say copy link. Hit done and go back to the mobile folder and then go back to var. Scroll down to stash and select stash. Select themes and go down to the Gears of War 2 theme or whatever theme you choose. What you're going to do now is hit edit in here and simply paste what you just copied and you should see the lock background JPG in there as well. Now the old lock background PNG, you're going to select that and hit the trash can, which will delete it. So delete this file. Now hit the blue arrow on the lock background JPG. And for the name, tap on the name, backspace the JPG, and put the do, 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 PNG, I think it is. Yeah, type PNG and hit done and then hit done there and you will see PNG so now it is renamed as lock background dot PNG when you're done there you can exit this and to test it there's the lock open up the lock screen and you will see that your lock background has been changed for that theme and just to prove that it is not the background here I will set a different background on the phone here I will just use this for now. Use as wallpaper, set as wallpaper, setting as wallpaper. There's the wallpaper, there's the lock screen. And I will have this written out for you next to the video in case the video is not good enough for you. Um, so yeah, that's how you change your lock screen background with a custom theme on the iPhone or the iPod. So yeah, that's how you do that. Um, basically, uh, that's about it. I will have more videos to come on how to show you how to do stuff like this. And a uh, little bit of uh, what there is to come. So take it easy, guys. If you got any questions, leave me a comment. Send me a message. If you got any recommendations for any other videos, leave a comment on my channel page. Other than that, subscribe. Keep up to date. Thanks again. Talk to you later.